Here's three of my new favorite motion VFX plugins for Final Cut Pro. This is not a sponsored video, but I do have a really cool deal with motion VFX where I get free access to these plugins so that I can try them out and show you guys what they're capable of. Starting off with the M Transition Tear Collection. This includes a total of 50 different drag and drop transitions that have this kind of fast paced stop motion paper tearing effect. These are really cool stylistic transitions. I have seen people manually make paper tearing transitions like this before, but it's incredibly time consuming. So to have 50 of these transitions that are drag and drop ready to go is gonna save you tons of time. I really like the kind of grungy, chaotic feel. There's a lot of different elements going on inside of each one of these transitions that really sets them apart from the super basic transitions that come with Final Cut Pro. The built-in transitions in Final Cut are like the fade transition or the slide transition. So to put one of these paper tearing transitions into your video is on a whole nother level. Next up is the M Movements plugin. This also includes 50 drag and drop effects, and these are for creating pan and zoom effects on your photos or videos. A few of my favorite from this pack include the chaotic zoom in, which seems like the perfect effect for like when a detective discovers a clue on a crime scene. The distortion zoom, which is kind of trippy, and the multiple zoom in effect, which gives you up to three different adjustments target points to zoom in on and it will smoothly move from one to the next. Now you can make pan and zoom effects in Final Cut Pro manually by making keyframes and then making adjustments, but this plugin not only speeds up your workflow with drag and drop effects, but it also gives you a few additional controls that you don't otherwise have in Final Cut. So with this, you can create a zoom effect that starts off slowly and then speeds up in the middle or starts off fast and then slows down. So it just gives you a lot more control over the pacing of the pan or the zoom. And last of all is the M Mockup plugin, which gives you a whole bunch of assets and templates for creating these really cool collages and split screen effects. These templates have a bunch of drop zones in them where you can place your own photos or videos, and they each include their own unique animations as well that look really professional. Some of them have a lot of drop zones, so you can have a bunch of different photos or videos on screen at once. And then some of them just have one drop zone, but that drop zone will be inside of like a Mac computer or an iPhone. This could be a really cool effect if you were doing a screen record on your phone that you're going to show in your video. And instead of having the screen record just pop up in your video, you could put that screen record inside of the iPhone asset, which would look way more dynamic. These plugins are premium plugins, so they are kind of spendy, but it's not a subscription. So you pay for them once and you own them forever. So if there's something that you think that you're gonna use repeatedly that's gonna speed up your editing, they can totally be worth it. As always, there are links in the description below if you wanna check these out. You can learn about some of the other Motion VFX plugins that I recommend in these videos here and I'll see you in the next one.